Hello guys, welcome back for part 14 of this series on creating games using Construct 2. Here in part 14, as you can see by the title of this PowerPoint, uh, we're going to add a health bar to our game. So let me pop back over to my game and let me run it really quickly because I've made a few small changes. I took away the bullet uh, behavior from the platform so they're not moving, I can just jump around. And this will be kind of easier for demo purposes um, to track the health. Um, and stuff like that. So that's just kind of why I made those small changes. Uh, that's basically it. And I made the, the turret shoot a little bit faster than it was in the previous demos. So uh, pretty subtle changes. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a health bar. So I've, I've already created two. Actually, I lost one of them. So I've got a health bar green here. Let me open it up. And it's just a simple rectangle like we did for the platforms. Its size is 250 by 25. That sounds good. And then one thing to note here is that its origin, so there's this button over here for set image points, and its origin is 0, 0 instead of the center of the object. So that's what we want. So make sure that that uh, origin is set to the top left, the 0, 0, if you're going to follow along here. So let me close that. Let me drag that health bar green on here. And then I'm going to select it on the right and clone it. And now I've got a health bar green too. Let me rename that and name it health bar green red. And then let me open it and actually make it a red color. So I've already got one. All right, looks good. And then I'll drag one in here. So now I've got these two health bars and I want the green to sit on top of the red. So I'm gonna right click on the green one and do Z order, send to top of layer. And now, I'm going to set the red one's position to 350 by 50. And then I want the green one to sit right on top of it. So I'll set it to the same position, 350 by 50. All right, so you can't see the red right now. What we're going to do is we're going to keep up with an instance variable for our player called health. And let's see this. So player, uh, let's. I've already added it. But just in case, let me delete it real quick, show you how to do that. Delete that variable. Alright, so once I select my player, uh, kind of like we did for for behaviors, we can come over to instance variables and add instance variables, add a plus, and then we want to have a health here, and it'll start out at 250. So we want we want this number to, to match the width of our health bar object. So, okay for now. And the reason we're using health, or health instance variables instead of a global variable like we did for score is that let's say for if we had a, a lot of enemies and we were shooting them uh, they might each need a health uh, instance variable instead of just all of them having one health variable so that way you have to shoot each one of them five times to kill one of them versus you shoot five times and all of them die something like that so this is just kind of good practice for a future game so this instant variable health again starts at 250 which is the same as the width of our um, green health bar and the red health bar so let's go over to the game event sheet and what we want to do is when we get shot by a bullet we don't want to end the game yet we want to let's go add action and we want to select that green health bar and we want to set his width to the player health and excuse me we want to do that after we subtract 50 from the player's health. So the, it starts at 250 and then we subtract 50 each time he gets shot. So player, and then if I scroll down to instance variables, there's set value, and we'll set health to player, nope, not angle, player.health minus 50. So whatever his health is, subtract 50 from it. So done. And let me drag that right above the set width. So this, this is what's going to happen. We're going to move this call and game down a little bit. So every time we get shot, we're going to set the health to 50 less than it was. Then we're going to set the width of the green plot, or the green health bar to that health. And then inside of this on collision with bullet, we're going to add another sub event to check whether or not that health equals 50. Or excuse me, whether or not it equals 0. So player and then compare instance variable and we want to compare health is less than or equal to zero 
and then I can drag down this end game down there. So let's run it really quickly to see what this looks like. And make it bigger. So now I'm getting shot, shot, shot. So it goes down, goes down, and then I lose. So if you didn't see that really quickly, I'll get shot by a bullet, two bullets, lose a little life. And then I'll get shot by a couple more, lose a little more life. And then have a couple to finish me off. So then I end the game. So that's a simple way to create a health bar. Obviously, you can get more creative and more artistic with it, but that's just kind of the simple idea, just to have um, basically two health bars, one being red, one being green, the red being in the background, and then you uh, shrink the width of the, health, of the green health bar on top to simulate uh, losing life. So that's it for part 14, and stay tuned for coming videos.